Wow, look at that stack of Atari 2600 games. Don't you feel a little nostalgic looking at all these? Don't you wish you can play all these games? Well, the good news, you can. And I'm gonna show you how to install all the Atari 2600 games on your Mac. It's super easy and quick to do. All we need to do is download Stella, install it on the computer, then download the ROM pack file, which has all the games, put that on our computer, and you're ready to go. I'm gonna show you how to do this within a matter of minutes. The first thing you wanna do is open your favorite web browser, and next, we're going to go to the Stella download page. The URL for Stella is Stella dash emu dot g-i-t-h-u-b dot i-o. That will take you to the page where you can click the downloads link right here. See where it says downloads on the left side of the screen? Click stable releases and you'll see where you can download all the versions of Stella. I will also put this link in the notes below so that will give you easy access. Um, so for the Mac we are going to locate the DMG file. So this binary DMG for Mac OS, click on that and it will begin to download. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and click on it and it will start the install process. Now we'll see Stella is there. Um, I am going to open up a finder window and I'm gonna drag the Stella application into my applications directory. Therefore, you can always see it within your apps. So if we launch Stella, you may get a warning that this app is not a known developer, but it's okay. It's not a malicious software. So we're not gonna move it to trash. What we'll have to do next is go into our system preferences and under security, click on the general tab here and you'll see Stella was blocked. We're gonna say open anyway. And once you do that, it should be good to open again. So now Stella is installed, we don't have any games. So what do we do next? Well, that's easy. We'll go back to our browser and we're gonna go to atarimania.com. Again, that's atarimania.com, and I will also put this link in the notes below. Once you go to atarimania.com, click on the 2600 icon at the top, click on ROMs collection, and then you'll see the download link at the bottom. Go ahead and download that. It's going to download a RAR file, R-A-R, which is much like a zip file. It's compressed. So you will need to find some program in the App Store or something that will decompress RAR files, something like WinZip. Once that is done downloading, go ahead and double click on it. And that will decompress two files in your downloads folder. So see in the folder called ROMs, we have HC ROMs and ROMs. The HC ROMs is categorized. Uh, it puts them in alphabetical order in a few different directories, so it's not to overwhelm the directory system with too many titles in one directory. So we're going to unzip the HC ROMs zip, because I like it categorized. Okay, now we have the HC ROMs. If you open that, you'll see everything categorized in all the files. You can put this folder, this HC ROM folders, any place you wish. Um, just to make it easy, I'm gonna leave it in the downloads folder, but you can move it to wherever you want it later. Let's go back to Stella, and I am going to go to my downloads folder. And you will see the ROMs directory here. Open that up and you'll see the HC ROMs, and now you'll see all the categorizations. So if we open up by alphabet, 
click on A through G. Here's all your Atari 2600 games. Select one to play. Let's go to Cosmic Arc. All you need to do is double click to open it. And your function keys act as your game select and game reset switches that are on the Atari 2600. So if you select function one, that is your game select. So you can select the different difficulty levels or function two is your game reset that starts the game. Then you can use your arrow keys for the joystick directions. Oops, I was hitting shift, darn it. Let's try this again. And the space bar works as your big orange joystick button. Come on. Okay, you can escape. Press escape to get out and feel free to load up another game. If you want to go back to the other categories, select the two dots at the top and you'll see all the other categories here, or all the other folders here. So pretty cool, huh? There's also an options menu that gives you tons of different options. You can just explore that on your own. And that's it. You now have all the Atari 2600 games on your Mac to play. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. It really helps a lot, and I do appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you very much.